So now let's see how we can start uh, designing our own character in Illustrator. So we're going to start off with a very simple character and for that I'm just going to take this head and then open up Tad Illustrator right here. So once I open that out, our reference model will be opened up just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around right here and open that out. So let's just go around here onto home right here. Uh, let me just go on to the record section, go into chat and open this up. I'm going to click on edit original just like this. So once I click on that, our illustrator file opens up right here. And that is what we're going to use as a reference. So over here, there's the illustrator file that's opening up just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this as a blueprint to create our own character. So we're going to create a very simple smiley face uh, right over here. So I'm going to go around and click on new file right here. I'm going to go to new and then I'm going to go to film and video. I'm going to just select SDTB 720. And since Illustrator is more of like um, a vector graphics uh, application, it doesn't matter uh, which resolution you choose because you can scale it indefinitely over there. So I'm just going to go around over here, go up with a simple uh, character. So let's just see right here So let me, on what we have. So let me just go around over here and I'm going to take an ellipse tool right here and then click and drag this out. So just like that, I'm going to center align this and I'm going to change the color of this onto something like yellow. All right, so we have our character's face right here. I'm not going to worry about layer names and so forth right now. Okay, so this is just going to be the face background right here, face BZ right here. I'm going to create, create a new uh, layer right here. So this is going to be the left eye. And uh, on the left eye, I'm just going to create a li little bit of circle right here, just like that and choose this. So once I do that, what I can do is just arrange this out just a bit and duplicate this out. So I'm just going to go around right here and then I'm going to just duplicate this out. So I'm just going to press Control C, Control V right here and new layer and uh, this is going to be right eye. Actually like this one is the right eye because it's on to the right uh, of uh, us right um, uh, on the left of us but right for the character so this is going to be the left eye right here and i'm going to just paste this out right here if you don't know how to use illustrator you might want to see my tutorial series on illustrator as well there you go you got the character's eye right here and now let's make some mouth and then everything but let's make the pupils over here first again so i'm just going to create a new layer right here and make a small pupil right here so this is going to be the left pupil right here just like that and i'm going to keep it right around over here so i'm just going to keep it on the center just like this and i'm going to change the color right here let me just duplicate this out right here so i'm just going to go around and then copy this and paste it out over here on the new layer all right so just like that on the layer five paste it out and keep this pupil right here just like that so this is going to be the right pupil just like this so once I do that, I can go over here and make up the mouth. So I'm going to go around here and then create a new layer just like that for the mouth. So this is going to be the mouth close mouth right here, just like that. We have to work around with the layer convention later on, but let's just go over here and create a smiley face mouth right here. So let's just go around right here. And there you go. We got the mouth right here, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make this stroke only so no uh line uh, no fill whatsoever and then we're going to choose a style so there you go there's the smiley face right here for this one so once i do that i can just copy and paste this out so we can go around here and then copy this just like this copy this out and then paste this out right here just like that and then go around right here mouth and then this is going to be an open mouth right here open mouth and then I'm going to go around and then just increase the size of this right here. So it actually seems open just like that, as you can see. So this is going to be an R like shape right here. Let's go around, open that up and that's it. All right. So this is going to be an R. And then I'm going to make another mouse right here again, just like that. And uh, change the shape around of it. So I'm just going to go around, paste it out right here and then keep it right here, just like that. 
So once I do that, what I'm going to do is just gonna go around with other shapes. So let me just hide these out right here. And I'm just going to choose around uh, this shape itself, but I'm going to go around and then choose around small uh, thing right here, just like this. So let me just go around small, yeah, okay. So I'm just going to copy and paste this around and make a bigger shape right here. So let's just go around to make it seem as if he's saying, oh, so let's just go around onto 80 right here, just like that, or just like this, you can see that it's kind of old. But anyways, I'm going to go around, just make a circle right here. I guess that will be much more easier right here to make it seem as if the character is saying, oh, so let's just go around right here and then select out back color just like that on this shape right here, not that shape, but this shape right here, I'm going to go around, select O right there. All right, so O is here as well for the character. Let me just pull that out around onto the side, keep it on the top just like that, all right? So let's go around right here and then keep it right here, just like that, all right? So once I do that, what I can do, I guess like this is looking weird, so I'm just going to get around this right here, just like that, a plain old shape right here and then increase out the size just like that, choose around this. So just gonna increase this out right over here, increase that out just like that, all right. So now that looks much more of an O just like that. So get this <coughs> and keep it right here. Okay, so that's an O. So this is going to be an O right here. Now let us get on to the layer naming part. So I'm going to go around, take this reference right here and you can see that the character name is here. So let me just go around right here and make a new layer and I'm going to name it plus smiley right here. So smiley is the name of the character. And then what do we have right here? Here's the face background. So I'm just going to go around with the face background. I'm going to use the same na layer naming right here. So this is going to be face background just like this. So once I do that, I can go back right here. So left eye and right eye is gotta be here now. So left eye and right eye, which is going to be this one. So plus left eye and then uh, plus right eye. So I'm just going to go plus right eye, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go around onto left. Uh, that, that's going to be left and right eye. Underneath there is like left pupil and right pupil as well. So I'm going to go around. So this is going to be plus left pupil, just like this, and then drag this around over here under the left eye. And this is going to be right pupil, just like this, and go under the right eye. So once I go over here onto the mouth, that's going to be plus mouth right here. So on the mouth, you can see that there's sub layers again. So I'm just going to create a new layer Name it plus mouth, just like this, and keep in the O, uh, the open, and mouth inside, just like that. So let's go inside right here onto the mouth section and let's see. So there's the neutral mouth first. So I'm going to go with the mouth neutral right here. So once we go on to the neutral, let's see the other. There's R and there's, uh, let's say, O. All right, so that's going to be R right here and then there's going to be OHO. So once I do that, what happens is that character animator recognizes this. So I got the smiley right here, I got the mouth right here, I got left eye, and then I got right eye, just like this. So bring all of these onto the smiley, just like this. So let me just bring all of these layers under smiley, just like that. So now what happens is that smiley right here is the character, and all of it has been arranged out quite well. And that is how you do it in Illustrator and you got a high quality character just like this. You're going to give it a bit of a stretch right here, the character. You can just go around right here, increase out the stroke and then maybe change around the uniformity just like that to give it a sort of a character. So let's just go around, decrease that round over here as well. And that is how it looks out just like that. All right, so we have this. So now let's just save it and import it in character animator. So I'm just going to go around, save it as, I'm going to go on to my desktop, save it as CAC Illustrator character. So I'm just going to go, let me go on to my Dropbox right here. So it's safe. So Illustrator face character, just like this. And I'm going to hit save, just like that. So once I'm going to press OK, what happens is that I can Im uh, import it out. So now in character animator, I'm just going to import out the character. I'm just going to delete the chat character right here, just like that. And I'm going to go around uh, onto scene 
and then create a new scene first so this is going to be smiley right here and let me just go around and then uh, rename this out remove the uh, backslash right here so just gonna double click and then go around into uh, let's say onto my Dropbox right here so let's go around into Dropbox bring in that character so let, there you go there's my illustrator face character let's import that out and let's see how that works like so there's the illustrator character right here just like that and then what i can do is i can just bring that in on here and if you were to see the rig of this character everything will be detected big because we uh worked around with the layers as you can see so or's neutral left eye right eye everything is detected as you can see right here so O is here, let's start up with the neutral right over here, just like that. That's the left pupil, just like that. As you can see, everything is figured out right here. So there's the eye right here, there's the eye right here, there's this. And if you were to click it, everything, the face background and everything. So this is going to be the face background right here. Let's just go around right here on the face background. And there you go, once I click it, that's the head as you can see. So we just assigned it. So once I do that, I can go on to the record and then if I were to turn on my webcam and what happens is that it'll start detecting my face right there. So let's just go around right here. Look at the scene. Okay. And then you can see right here. The, so it detected it out. So I'm just going to set the rest pose right here. And there you go. Just like that. So I can go around here and then move around my head right here. And you can see that the character is there. It also changes the eye size and so forth as you can see right there. So you can just go around and then move around just like that. All right. So I can also enable the microphone right there and the character starts talking. Ooh, right. Okay. So that is how you can uh, make your uh, character in Illustrator and then bring it out in uh, Character Animator. So you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.